In this video we're going to be copying an angle using the virtual compass and straight edge. An angle is a figure consisting of two non-collinear rays with a common endpoint. So let's go create an angle using the ray tool. First I'm going to be in, I'm using the newest algebra, I'm going to be in the algebra view because I want to see the data that comes up on this side. Now I'm going to move my graphics view, just I'm going to push my, um, my this is called the move graphics view, I'm going to push my xy axis over. Under here is the ray tool, so an angle is the intersection of two rays. Now I'm going to create another ray because this is I'm going to be copying this angle down to here. There is a move key because it's very helpful to have your one of your points near your vertex, not next to the other point. Otherwise, it gets in the way of your compass. Your compass is the third one down. C A to A. I could have done that and kept it the width, but go again by saying C A to D, or I can just click on the edge of this and bring it down. Now I'm going to use the intersection tool because I'm going to be open. Let me cut intersect. I'm going to be opening my compass this amount and bringing it down to here. So let me show you that. C, F, to G. I'm going to intersect. And now I'm going to create my copied angle. This is a construction. So even if I move this around, this um, vertex around, or one of these live points, they're blue, it still stays the same. Let's check our work. There's an angle tool. You have to use the angle tool in the clockwise direction. This is not the clockwise direction. It comes out silly like that on the outside. So let's go and do the clockwise direction. F A C G D H. It's hard to read down here, but over here in the graphics view, in the algebra group view, you can see these are both 24 degrees. And I can move this and they'll still, they'll get bigger or smaller, but it's copied. Thank you for watching this video.